this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i started my own business with no experience and this was a long time ago but i'm going to be sharing that story with you to motivate you to encourage you and so that you guys can know if this is something that you want to do now always encourage some people to start something anything that's why i'm always sharing resources with you guys business ideas with you guys teaching you guys how to create stuff so that you guys can start making money on the side but anyway let's get right back into my story i started my business at a young age um i'm a nigerian for those that do not know i don't think i've ever said that on my channel so i started my first business ever back in nigeria um i was also 16 at the time and at this time there was no instagram you know i was mostly selling my stuff i don't even know whether it was when i don't even know if there was instagram but i know i wasn't selling on instagram at that time but i was selling on facebook and um bbm messenger blackberry that was the days of when i first started selling my started first started selling products on the internet the first business at that time was me selling um female products so mostly um handbags shoes and whatnot it was a huge learning curve for me for me because there wasn't really a lot of people that i could have learned from now, i did that for a couple of years and i was 16 fresh out of university you know fresh out of secondary school which is high school here in, uh, in the states or in canada and right after that i had to give all of that up like literally had to give all of that up because i was moving to a different country i was coming here to study and i didn't really you know i didn't really have the i guess the time for me to continue to do my business and i was in a new country i didn't really know how to you know navigate the business world here so once i got here you know i went to university i graduated university and then the first business that i did in canada was me um you know creating a line of sweatshirts now i'm going to create a whole new a whole different video going into detail on how you can start your own clothing brand because that's where i started from like i said i'm nigerian so i'm connected to my roots to my you know to my culture so i wanted to infuse that into my brand um and bring that here i created a range of hoodies sweatshirts that was um you know infused with african prints so that was my first ever business and that taught me a lot because you know canada like i said it's a whole different ball game and that's one thing the one skill that i think you need to have as a small business owner or someone who wants to go into business is really you know being able to cite the opportunities that exist in the market you know when you come to go to a different city go to a different country you can still do your business you just need to look around and see you know what is lacking in my community and how can i serve them and that's kind of like where i came from when i you know was thinking about what i wanted to do so i decided to go into that you know i created my design i found a manufacturer i went through all of that process which i'm going to create a whole different video for you guys as well so you can go check that out if if i create that video and edit that video before this one i will link it in the description if not just subscribe to my channel you're going to know when i drop that video anyway so i created my first collection you know i then you know had to learn a lot about photography a lot about social media now obviously there's instagram instagram was popular you know everyone is using instagram everyone and their daddy is using instagram then i started learning at least from a business standpoint and then i started learning how to utilize you know social media to market my business because if i'm going to get customers i have to promote the business you know um i had to learn a lot of skills you know i had to learn how to take photos i bought a camera i learned how to use a camera like i'm using right now i got a camera i learned how to use a camera you know i organized my own photo shoot with my friends uh, my schoolmates um this was me in the university i was maybe my fourth year you know maybe my third year i can't remember now but this was before i graduated so i used my friend utilize the resources that you have you know around you a lot of a lot of the times people make excuses as to why they cannot start a business oh i don't i don't i can't do this i can't do that utilize the resources that you have 
ask your friends to model for you you don't have a camera you can't afford to buy a camera use your phone you know it's so easy to start a business right now literally it's so easy to start a business right now you just have to have the guts to do it i'm it's easy for me to you know you know try new things i'm a huge risk taker like i would try things that's that's my personality you know i'm not really scared to fail because i feel like i learn from that failure now i'll give you guys a little backstory before i continue when i was back in nigeria and i was you know young and excited to be you know making money i made my first mistake or my first huge loss as a business owner when i first uh, uh when i made my first purchase from china now prior to going to china i would normally go to like a local market and i'll go buy the products and then go sell it to my schoolmates in um back in nigeria i decided to go direct to the source but because i didn't have the skill set to identify who a right supplier is and some of those you know some of the things that i needed to pay attention to before buying from a supplier i ended up buying a bunch of products that i invested a lot of money into literally all the money that i had saved at that time um when the products came the quality was like horrible it was absolutely horrible and i couldn't sell them and i was thinking to myself say i have saved up a hundred thousand at that time i invested a hundred thousand I maybe ask my mom for extra money and then I shipped the product and then I thought that the product was going to come direct to my house well come to realize that the product is actually going to go to the port and I would need to get a clearing agent to clear my products and I didn't know that at 20, at 16 I didn't know anything about clearing agents but one thing you're going to one one thing that I'm really great at and I'm really like I'm really grateful for is the fact that I think on my feet I'm a problem solver like if there's a problem I'm like looking for the solution to the problem I don't even focus on the problem so you know I realized that this is a, a problem I'm going to have to find a solution and I did I found someone we cleared the goods and then I was faced with another problem I got the product and it was horrible now this is what sets apart people who are entrepreneurs and people who are just like you know who who i don't even know i don't know how, i don't want to compare but the main the main thing here is that you need to be open to taking risk you need to be open to failing okay you are going to fail well maybe you might not but if you learn from other people's mistakes you might not but personally in that situation i'd failed because i ordered a bunch of products that it's, I couldn't sell them so I had no money and I just had products that I couldn't sell but at that time I was thinking so what can I do with this product I had to think about how do I continue on this journey as an entrepreneur without having the resources the financial resources to do so and then at that time many years ago I started doing group sh shopping so group shopping for me at that time was here's what I'm going to do I'm going to find reliable suppliers because obviously i've learned that there are some suppliers that are not reliable i'm going to find reliable suppliers i'm going to take a look at what they're selling and i am going to um get all of those photos now pay attention i'm going to get all of those photos i'm going to promote that and then i am going to ask my customers to pay me and then i'll tell them that they're going to need to wait for three weeks before they get their order i'll use their money to buy it and then i would give them the goods i would keep the profit now this was me doing drop shipping in i don't even know what year that was i've never heard of drop shipping before at that time i had never heard of personal shopping at that time it was just something that i came up with and i was like you know this is what i'm going to do so my point of telling you this story is that as an entrepreneur you're going to face adversity you're going to face problems what you do with that problem is really what sets you apart from the rest of you know the business owners out there because i promise you there would always be something that would come up as forward to coming to canada you know like i said new environment you have to learn something new you have to adapt so i had to learn how to use social media how to create content how to you know edit videos how to record videos how to use a camera i had to learn a bunch of things and that's another thing that you're going to realize if you decide to start a business is 
you're going to wear a lot of hats and you're going to need to learn a lot of things in the beginning you're going to need to learn a lot of things if you're not if you're not willing to sit down and watch a two hour video like this one well this one is just me talking i'm not teaching anything but if you're not willing to sit down and watch a two hour free video teaching you how to do something that would benefit your business then you're not ready you're not even ready to do business you're not ready to elevate your brand or improve yourself as a business owner because i can tell you guys right now you're going to continuously learning recently i started doing paid advertisement using facebook i had to pay for a course that i was going to learn how to do it i had to watch countless videos on youtube learning how to run facebook ads and right now i run all of my ads myself so you know it's always going to be a continuous learning journey you're going to learn something and if you're not willing to learn to do it you're going to have the money to pay somebody to do it for you it's one or the other it's either you have the money to hire an agency and pay them to run your ads or you learn how to do it and do it yourself over a period of time obviously you want to get to a point where you can separate yourself from your business and your business continues to exist right but before you get there it's a long process it's a long journey somebody's saying if somebody's saying i'm giving you something for free i want you guys number one to value that because that's information that they had to lose something for or paid for to acquire and they're just giving it to you guys for free so make sure that you guys pay attention and you know be grateful to whoever is teaching you guys something for free over the years I've transitioned into different things as an entrepreneur. I also own a, you know, a, an events company. It's a social enterprise that um, organizes fashion shows in my city because I love fashion and I also wanted to create a platform for, um, you know, upcoming designers to, um, you know, to showcase themselves, you know, always looking into the market to think about what is lacking and how can I serve my community is a great way for you guys to think when you're looking for what can I sell, how can I start a business, right? I did that, you know, I did that for a few years and after a while I decided to, you know, also try something else and I went into the beauty industry where I started a company that does press on nails and, you know, lashes and whatnot. And over the years, I've just continued to continue to learn continue to invest in myself by buying courses you know talking to people studying and just trying to better myself as an entrepreneur right now my goal is to um, pass on my knowledge to as many people that as i can that's why i make all these videos on youtube because you know i get a lot of a lot of people who reach out to me and say um, on my personal in social media pages and say hey you know, you're doing amazing you're inspiring can you you know do you have one or two things that you can share or that you can teach and i'm like sure my goal right now is to just share my knowledge through my channel on this channel and hopefully i can inspire somebody to um start a business like i promise you guys you're not going to well you might regret it in the beginning when it's so stressful but in the long run you realize that you're building something and it feels nice when one day you don't have money and then the next day you have thousands because a bunch of people bought something on your website and now you're not broke as opposed to living paycheck to paycheck every two weeks you're gonna have to wait for two weeks you cannot buy anything you cannot do anything you know you, can, you get what i mean like at the end of the day i'm not against nine to five i'm I, i'm not against nine to five i think it's actually very important for you to keep your nine to five while you're building your own business okay um but yeah i hope this kind of like helped us get to know each other a little bit and just get to know me a little bit and my story i mean i didn't want this video to be long so i'm not going to go into all of the details but i just wanted to point out a few things that i feel like if you're thinking about starting a business you definitely want to look at all the people that are doing it and figure out you know what are some of the things that you can learn from them um it's not always all rosy it's a lot of work um it's a lot of um it's a lot of work because you you have to market your business you have to promote your business so it's a lot of work it can take a lot of mental stress sometimes as well but it's also quite rewarding so um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and um i'll see you guys in my next video uh, thanks for watching Bye.